James the White Engine was puffing into the mainland. He had some logs to drop off. He came to a red signal. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, this diesel came along and snapped James and washed away. The diesel was going so fast, James' car was flew right off the way. Then the diesel stopped. What are you doing with me? shouted James. Let me go. Never, said the diesel. We diesels all need seamies gone. So this is what we're going to do to you. Just then he gave James a giant bump. Ah, screamed James. Help! He derailed. Someone, I mean Bulgy, take his coal. Bulgy did that. Bulgy, stop, said James. Ah! This diesel came flying off. Ow! Said James. Ugh! And we're gonna do this with every single steamy on Sodor. Ah, ah, ah. Finish taking his coal, sir. Good, said the diesel. Hopefully the boss will know about this. No! Screamed James. Back on Sodor, things were seeming like normal. Engines were puffing here and there, and they were doing their job. In the water, Skiff saw everything. James didn't even notice Skiff. I feel bad for James, he said. When an engine comes along, I'm gonna warn them, because I'm gonna try to get myself up back on the track. Skiff tried to make waves, but nothing was working. Hugo was coming across to the mainland to, to drop off his scrap. Meanwhile, Skiff edged himself to the track and was laying on his side there. Just then, Hugo puffed up. Hello, he said. Why are you on the track? Please, he said. You have to get out of here. Why, said Hugo. Oh, fine, I'll explain it to you. There's these diesels, and they took James and they... Took his coal. Please, everyone must stay on Sodor. Must. I don't even know who Diesel is. His name is Diesel. The Diesel. D199. Have you heard of him? No, I haven't. I'm not even from this uh, part of the world, actually. Oh, please, hurry. You need to get out of here, Hugo. Yeah, okay, silly boat. Nice story. Hugo then pushed Skiff out of the way. Silly whale boat, he thought. Goodbye! Can you please tell a crane to come help me? I'm stuck in the water. But Hugo was too far away to hear. Just then Hugo saw the waste. As Hugo was coming into the tunnel, the diesel came out. Diesel gave Hugo a giant bump. Ouch! Said Hugo. Oh, are you a diesel? My bad, come join me. Diesel 199 coupled up. So, you, this is him, said Skiff. Be quiet, little whale boat, he said. We need to get a wave to get you knocked away. What are you doing, said, said Hugo. This, he said. He whipped Hugo so fast, the uncoupling, uncoupled the squat cars, and they fell into the water. A giant wave pushed Skiff. Ah, said Skiff. The diesel kept on pulling Hugo. Just what he did with James, he made him fly off the whales. Ah, he said. He tumbled end over end and landed in a field. Stay on Sodor, he said. That huge wave pushed Skiff so far. He was floating towards the docks. An hour later, Skiff was near the, the docks. And Hank saw him. So, he said. How we need to get, lift out Skiff? Oh, Skiff, there you are. Where have you been? Oh, sir, he said. Oh, it's horrible what's happening on the mainland. What is happening, he said. How, walk, you lift him out immediately. Yes, sir, said Harvey. Sir, said Skiff, you can't believe what's happening. Skiff, this better not be one of your stories, said the cop hat. No, said Skiff. There are these diesels, known as Diesel 199, and then you know Aryan Burt, right? Oh, those troublesome engines, they never will turn back the soda, same with Den and Dogs. Well, they're friends with Diesel 10. Everyone fell silent. Diesel 10, said Hank. Uh-oh, said the top Matt. carry on. 
Well, um, so they, I saw them take James and Hugo when they were going across. We must close that bridge, he said. Although Skiff, you're in no work. You need to go off to the works to get repaired. You need new wheels and stuff. Can ha Hank, take me back to the sheds and please get Steven. Yes, sir, he said. And Hugo, can you hear me? Yes, sir, said Hero. I'm sorry, but we have to leave. It is an emergency happening. Oh, okay, said Hero. I mean, said Hero. He was very... He, he was so clean to go to the works after his ha accident. Let's go, Hank, he said. Come on. Who cares if this train is late? Yes, sir, said Hank, and he puffed away. Soon Hank arrived and stopped. Okay, now we must warn engines not to use this bridge. Just then, the Flying Scotsman was coming around. Flying Scotsman, said Sir Carlton Hat, please stop. Yes, sir, what is it? You look worried. No engines need, are allowed to go over across this bridge. There are some diesels on the other side, and they took James and Hugo. Actually, Flying Scotsman, you're from the mainland. Yes, sir, I am. Could, could you please go, um... Find them? Yes, sir, said the flying spot. No, do, sir. Hank, please stay here. Actually, no. Go to the sheds, explain this to Stephen, and come back really quick. Yes, sir, said Hank, and he rushed away. Now, flying Scotsman, let's just wait for Stephen to get back. Hank arrived at the sheds and told Stephen everything. Okay, let's do this, said Stephen. Hank, flying Scotsman, I'm coming in here. Hank, could you please pull the express? So I never pulled the express before, said Hank. Please, said the cotton hat. Okay, said Hank, I'll do that. Perfect, said the cotton hat. Hank was soon coupled to the express and he washed away. Stephen, you know what to do? Yes, sir, said Stephen. Okay, fine, Scotsman, I'm coming in. Okay, fine, Scotsman, are you ready? Yes, sir, said the fine, Scotsman. Okay, the bridge is coming down for us. On three. One, two, three. The flying Scotsman rushed over the bridge. And rushed in. Uh oh, we're blocked by some squat cars. So Top and Hat got out. Oh dear, he said. Well, I don't know what we should do here. Um, push them aside. Meanwhile, one of the scrap cars was just sitting in the water. The other one was still on land. Oh dear, said the top and hat. That's not good for our ocean. The flying Scotsman soon was able to pull it up right side. This can be our protection, said the top and hat, from the diesel. If he comes, shove, shunt this at him. Hopefully he'll fall in the water. Yes, sir, said the flying Scotsman. Let's go forward and talk for it. Talk loudly. Okay, said the Flying Scotsman. So, Flying Scotsman, shouted Sir Topham Hat. How was your day today? My day's amazing, said the Flying Scotsman. I've just been... But they were soon interrupted. The Flying Scotsman. I can't do this alone. Diesel 10. Master. Yes, sir, said Diesel 10. Or yes, D199. Help me, please. We need to get the flying Scotsman off. Ugh, fine. You guys wait here and don't let them see you. Yes, sir, they said. The rest of the diesels just sat there and tried to be unnoticed. Here, Sir Bulgy, I'll protect you. Thanks, Bulgy. Okay, on three. One, two, three. And they charged up the track. But the flying Scotsman thought they were only one. Then they saw Diesel 10. Ah! Screamed Sir Carlton Hat and ran, for ran away. They soon came and smashed into the cloud. It flew into the water. The waves came up and hit the top of the hat. Ah! Said the top of the hat and floated away. Fine Scotsman, said Diesel 10. What a pleasure to see you. Just when the diesel's backed up. Ow! Said the top of the hat. Fine Scotsman. This one tender was derailed. One more time! The Fine Scotsman. Webbed his engine. Ugh. He banged him so hard 
Wealth is unattached. Ah, they said. Oh, that was an alarm. Say, they came along and derailed the flying Scotsman. His one tender fell in the water and it was washed away. My tender, he said. His other tender was still on the track. One more bump. As the top of the hat was swinging in the water, he saw one of the tenders to the flying Scotsman. No, he said, he climbed on top of it. No, not the flying Scotsman. No, I, oh man, he said. Last chance, said the flying Scotsman. Oh no, said James and Hugo. One, two, three. It gave the flying Scotsman such a giant bump. That he was derailed. Ah, he said. He was dangling. His one tender flew over the bridge. Stephen saw all of this. Oh no, he said. Not the flying Scotsman. I need to try to help. Oh no, he said. Stephen soon coupled up to the flying Scotsman's tender. Right as he arrived, he saw some top of hat in the in the water. Stephen, he shouted. Sir, how are we going to get his tender out of there? I'm not sure, sir, he said. One, two, three. Stephen tried, but he was very old. They came on and bumped the flying Scotsman. Ah, he said. He splashed into the sea. Oh, no, said Stephen. Your turn. Ah, said Stephen. He backed up as fast as he could. Oh, he came the well down there. Ha <laughs> Flying Scotsman was in the water. He tried to struggle to stay afloat. Help, he said, please. Ha 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 said Diesel 10. Our plan's finally working. Let's go tell the others what happened. And they raced away. Oh, oh, oh. The Flying Scotsman was now floating along his tender and took off and hat. Ugh, sir, I'm so sorry, he gasped. Oh, S flying Scotsman, it's not your fault you tried. Oh, we, we tried, oh dear. Now I need to try to get a crane out to get us. There's no cranes around, he said. Rocky's working over there. Well, I don't know what to do, he said. If we float any farther, we'll be away from Sodor. I'm so sorry, Flying Scotsman, he said, but I'll have to do this. He accidentally shoved, shunted his tender off. I have to go find, um, Hild, he said, and he rushed away. Stephen soon rushed in. Hild, he shouted, Hild, there's been an emergency. What is it, said Hild. The Flying Scotsman is in the water, along with the top of that. Go help them. I'll be there as fast as I can, said Hild, and he flew away. Hill was so high up. I see them, he said. He came down. Guys, I'm here to help you. Let me get get my rope attached. Fly in the top of hat. Top of hat cl climbed in Hill's cab. Flying Scotsman, I'm gonna get you out of here, he said. Hill soon came along. I'm gonna scoop you up, he said. He soon got the flying Scotsman in his tender in. Come on, he said. Let's get you out of here. And he flew away. Don't worry, Flying Scotsman, said the top of hat. It'll be okay. All right, said the Flying Scotsman. Harold, we need to fly him directly to the, um, works. Can you get there by flying us there? Well, so where about you? Well, uh, well, I don't know if there's any boats coming in. Oh, I don't know what to do, he said. Here, just bring us down to the docks. Okay, said Harold. They soon arrived down at the docks. Cranky, he said. I have them. Let's get the top of the hat out. The top of the hat jumped out. Out, she said. We're going to fly him directly to the works. Okay, goodbye, and Harold flew away. Harold soon saw all the engines at the works. Oh, dear, he said. I guess I'll have to drop you off here, flying Scotsman. Okay, said the flying Scotsman. Goodbye, said Harold, and he flew away. Word was spreading quick about what happened, so Topham Hat told Cranky. So Topham Hat soon arrived back at the sheds. Sir, said Stephen, 
Where's the fine Scotsman? Harold flew him directly to the works. He needs to get repaired. Uh-oh, why about his last tender? Oh dear, said Harold. Um, well, I don't know what I have to do. Well, said the top man, I guess I'll have to ship his tender there. It'll be a long time before he gets repaired. Yeah, he did really good though trying to help Soldor. But we have to be very careful because we don't know what Diesel 10 has next. Excuse me, said Tom. Sorry, said Steven. He moved out of the way. Thank you. I'm very scared for what could happen next at the top of that. Let's just try to stay positive, so. Yes, Steven. Yes, we should. The end.